Hi, it's me, Lily Divine. <clears throat> Pardon me. First things first, in this topic, we're actually going to go through uh, music. Uh, what you could do, what you shouldn't do, uh, depending on the, the traffic and the response you have from uh, a lot of people in the venue, or whatever the case may be, and what you should do uh, when you like in the last video you had your on the go package so your two bags and then with your makeup and you can just grab them and put them in your bag if they're not already in your bag so first thing we want to cover subscribe hit the bell button so you get all the information which should be down here or here i'm not too sure um so you get the notifications of new videos like this one that are getting updated almost on the daily. Uh, so I can give you my opinion and uh, thoughts on certain subjects, uh, which could help you as an entertainer, uh, whether you're doing drag, uh, performing just in general, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so getting into it. Most places when it comes to a DJ, they have the option that you can use a USB. If you don't know what a USB is, um, I don't have one on me because I've actually already got mine packed away in my suitcase, which is right there. And it's already got a bunch of clothes in it from another show that I was supposed to do, but I had to work. Um, So with that being said, the USB just plugs into a computer. Most DJ stations have USB ports so they can plug in. Sometimes you can get away with them downloading the music right away um, and including uh, a CD, which is very rare nowadays uh, that, you, that you can do that. Um, and in a lot of cases, a lot of us older queens and some that are older uh, don't know how to really use a computer with the setup and they just have their CDs because somebody's done it or they got a USB. Now if you have a USB make sure that you have it titled as to what you are doing um, with your name on it because when you bring it up on the computer now I have my computer screen in front of me with my YouTube channel because I'm just doing some logistics stuff um, when you go to import your music onto your USB drive, in that USB drive, you can make a folder. Now, in that folder, if you have your drag name as the title for the folder, make sure you say who you are, um, your drag name, whatever name you're using, just make sure that you have that there because when you hand it to the DJ, the DJ can take the music, might ask, is everything in order? Da, 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 da. Is there anything else on here? I sh shouldn't see whatever. If they're good and they have the time to do that, you can just hand it off and say, everything's in order. That's how I want it done. If possible, please just let me know. Uh, it's all in a specific folder. Now, if you have it all in a specific folder, once you go in, because you can drag those specific numbers, which in most cases, your best bet is to go with an MP3 file uh, for your music, because then that saves the hassle of the DJ that may have to go and convert that file over into something that's going to work with his system. And in most cases, an MP3 file works with just about every system. So once you have your music your sorry your file folder on your usb you drag the music that you want and put into the usb you can then go into the usb file on your computer and actually change where you want that music to be because it won't specifically go into that file with your drag name so if you take the, that music highlight it cut and paste Cut it, right click, stick it in there, or just open up the file, paste it in there. Then you can move them around in which order you want. Um, some people don't really care as to what order you have your music in or they have their music in. 
It's just a preference uh, that you want to make sure that you are prepared for if you go to do a show. Now, there could be um, multiple files with different songs on it that you may have had from X amount of shows, whatever, how many, however many shows that you've had. Um, just number those and remember, like, remember which ones are where. Um, if it's the same numbers you do almost every time, shouldn't be an issue. You should be able to just get away with one. Now, if there is multiple files on there, of saying uh, your drag name. In my case, it would be Lily and then whatever show I'm in or whatever the case may be. And I and I do remember, because usually at the back of my mind, I'll remember what songs I have, especially on a USB and where to find them. Because if you have a lot of folders on there or a lot of music, that DJ isn't going to have the time to go through everything to find that specific file. Uh, with that music um, or sound bite or whatever the case may be depending if you're singing live so keep that in mind if you have it in a specific folder remember where you have it even if you have to have a piece of paper in your bag saying where that song is or whatever it may be a little bit of a hassle for you but think of the time if you remember what file it is in that the DJ can go and grab it import it with that that copy as long as he or she or whoever does not have that and they can play it for you um another topic i wanted to go in on that is also making sure that you know the song that you're doing as a promoter or a um an individual who is running the show, uh, even as a DJ, well, not so much as a DJ because they see behind the scenes unless they're out front. Um, make sure you practice your music, especially if you're a new performer. You don't want to go out there and not know the lyrics. Um, that is a big thing. Now, not no, not knowing lyrics, although we've all seen it, I've actually forgotten my lyrics, even for a song that I've known and I've performed however many times. Sometimes you just get out there, you get into it, and something sets you off and you just blank right out. So make sure you know the lyrics. If you have to, you can find it on uh, online on YouTube, You can uh, lyric vi videos. Even if you're sitting on your phone, you have a pair of earphones in, just listen to the music, go through the songs, especially if the song is on that specific uh, musician's uh, YouTube channel. So a lot of them now do have lyric videos so you can get the actual lyrics down. So what they're saying, when they're saying it, and make sure you get your timing in on it. That really helps you as an entertainer. Um, you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to get out there. You don't want to forget your music. Because it, it can be, it can be funny if you can turn it into a joke. I'm more of that comedic sense when I'm on stage and I do my music. Sometimes I can take a very serious song and turning it into a comedic number. Um, it's all a matter of perception on how you, you want that song to be viewed. Um... Now, if you plan on going out there and doing a very serious song, getting into it, showing that raw emotion, you may get out there and get partway through it, already do the main chorus uh, and verse, and you might get to that bridge where it goes into something else, and you just might, maybe a uh server has dropped a plate of drinks or whatever or something's happened somebody's hooting and hollering off to the side you know it might throw you off you might forget it um you want to kind of, you want to make sure that you do have that lyrics because when you might forget it for just a fraction of a few seconds and it could throw off the whole vibe of it so if you have that 
knowledge of the lyrics itself. You know the lyrics. You don't want to go out there and do apples, oranges, bananas. Um, some people like, like myself and other performers, we can pick up on that, especially if you turn your back to the crowd. Don't ever turn your back to the crowd. Um, you want the crowd to be in the palm of your hand uh, as much as possible. That's what's going to bring in the tips. That's what is going to bring in. Like if, if somebody is absolutely thrilled with your performance, they will tip you because they enjoy it. They appreciate that that performance that you're doing because if you if you don't want to pick out just a specific person if there's somebody at the back of the room you know do the song for them look at them point to them uh same thing with at the front of the room you don't want to specifically just target one person because your friend your boyfriend girlfriend your partner spouse whatever is sitting right there you want to make sure that you get everybody so going back to that with the usb make sure that you have that usb in your bag or in your car or wherever the case may be that it's easily accessed you already have that music on that usb stick so then you can just hand it to the DJ or the one who is putting on the show and say, music is already in order. I already know my songs. They're in there. Go with it. This is the file they're on. Then they can go back and they can say, okay, these are the songs. You can be put on the set list. And this is in the, in the case that if you have, a, like in my last video, in regards to the makeup, that you are getting home on a Friday or thir whatever day it is. You're getting home, you get that message saying, hey, I need a performer, can you come in and fill for this person? Or, you know, I'm short one person, whatever the case may be. Then that gives you the incentive that, oh, this performer's coming prepared. Whether you're new or not new, um, it's just little tips and tricks. A lot of entertainers do it. Um, if you're lucky enough that you have enough data on your phone, and the deed, there's enough time before the show that you can send the music to the DJ, that the DJ can download the link and convert it over, fantastic. But just make sure that you have that USB or CD, whatever the case may be, because you never know. Uh, you just want to make sure that you have it. Um, if it's a specific theme, just kind of tailor that performance to the theme if you can if not you can't do anything about it you know it is a last minute booking it does happen and it may happen more often than not uh, bookings are great just be thankful and humble for everything that you're getting um, if you come prepared people are going to see you as a professional queen a king entertainer whatever uh, when you're a, a performer as you are out on that stage because you're coming prepared, you already have your stuff, you have your makeup in your bag, it's already ready to go because you have that travel case. You have the USB in there. You already, sorry, that's my dog. He's laying down on the carpet beside me here. Um, you already have that stuff in your bag. And if you are well enough and you thought ahead and you already have a bag packed and your stuff is already clean from the past show and it's already in a bag or in a suitcase you can just grab it and head out the door so keep all those things in mind in the next in the next video um i think we're going to go through uh a bag and make sure so you know what you have in your bag so in the next video that I do may not be today it may be because today is Friday in October the 18th oh, almost Halloween those bookings might be coming up you never know but maybe today maybe tonight or tomorrow we'll actually go through my bag um, I'll set it up and on my bed um, and I'll just stream it from over top of my dresser or the tripod I have here um, so you can see what I have and I'm prepared for in mine because I do pad, uh, I do have a silicone breast plate stuff. It's not a specific breast plate, but I'll go through the whole process. Same thing with wigs. Um, 
we will go through that as well. Maybe not the next one, but I'll show you how I have my wigs packed away. Um, if they're already styled, I already have them up in my closet behind all my stuff here um, that uh, are already on wig heads. So I can just grab it and out the door as I'm going. Uh, and if you're thankful enough to have enough long enough hair, if you're doing a short haired look, then we'll go through with that as well. Or if you're long, you have long enough hair that you can just kind of tease it up and go. Um, may not be as big as you normally do, but we'll sh I'll show you how to do that in another video uh, once we get through the video with the suitcase that I have. So it'll show you like my tights, uh, how I have them packed to make sure that I have them. Um, my traveling case, that will actually be in the bag because I've already got it on the go. I'll just make sure that it's in there and I'll show you like how I pack that all up. So once again, make sure that you have a USB ready to go in your traveling case. Um, if you can stick it in a Ziploc bag, just a plastic bag, like a sandwich bag or something, or you can get the little snack bags, which are about yay big, um, just so it doesn't get damaged or anything with makeup and that, just throw it in there, zip it up, put it in your bag, so then at least you have your music on hand, you know what's on there. If you have a little cue card in that bag saying, this is the music that's on there, this is the order it's in, fantastic. Just make sure that you have it. Um, learn your lyrics. And once again, subscribe to the channel. Give a thumbs up if you like these videos. We're gonna continue going on as, as the channel evolves eventually. Um, for some of the other videos, the raw and uncut videos, everything, <laughs> because I'm just, I'm just getting used to the, uh, YouTube creator studio. So everything's going to start to change. But for these drag queen 101 videos, um, and like the education part of it, um, if you want to give that, like click on that bell button somewhere in here. Um, that'll let you know when a new one's uploaded so you can kind of bend it to your own way to help your performance along in your character. Um, but other than that, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that it is a little bit longer and it might sound like I'm rambling, but if you need to go back in any of the videos, pause and then just kind of make pointers, that works too. Even I do it when I see somebody like Jeffree Star online and they're doing their videos. Um, I take little pointers and same thing with uh, Plastic Tiara, any of the RuPaul girls like Alexis Mateo. When I watch her on uh, Facebook, I do have her on Facebook um, and all the different ones. There's, a, a, there's so many entertainers online, uh, YouTube creators, Everybody that you can draw from to help yourself. And that's all what I'm trying to do is help you along. So subscribe, hit the like button, the thumbs up, hit that uh, little bell button. I keep forgetting what it is because it's there's so many things to go through. But uh, I'm happy that you're coming along and thank you to all the new subscribers that have uh, clicked in and those who have watched these videos. Have yourself a good day. We'll talk to you all later.